Tremendous day, everyone, and I'm just giving you a quick tour of my garden. This is my end of June, beginning of July garden tour. So yellow rose bush there, not in bloom right now, but I do see some buds. That's an Esther Bill. It blooms a pretty, it's white. My planters. Most of this garden is like a yellow color. Here's the other side. My day is really starting to come up. They're like an orange red. It's a butterfly bush. You guys probably remember me getting that on clearance. The rose bush. This rose bush is so old, guys. I mean, when I came here, and I've been here like 26 years, it was here. That's the best on the back. So you use for the dendron. I suppose it's Sharon. So you need to die down. There's some selfies. It's a daisy. I'm hoping that it comes back next year. I'm hoping that it will be okay. So hydrangeas. Those yellow flowers. It's a little truck that I put back there just for garden interest. Um, a little pot that I planted with some petunias. That's one of my little containers also. It has dusty mill and petunias and impatient. Little mill yards that my son bought me. This gets a beautiful, it has a beautiful clematis that's purple. It's climbing up this um, trellis. The back is with Zelda, which we cut all the way down. My husband cut it down. Go out and look beautiful because of him. He is just so great. Hoot and Nanny, I cut it back. And that ear there, like all the way in the back, I'm going to do some planning across there. I don't know what I'm going to put yet. This is another vanilla yet. Okay, this holsters. This is a huge variegated. Lagalda. It gets beautiful. Beautiful. See the, the new green right there on the back. You see how it's variegated. It's green and white. It gets pretty pink flowers in the spring. Nazalia. Zucchini. Hydrangea. One of my knockout roses that I got for five hours, guys. It's beautiful. It's another hydrangea back there. I have a vine that's trying to invade it, so I have to get in there and clear it out. But it's more like a purpley. You guys can see the blooms. A lot of them just coming up. I know the name of that plant, but it gets beautiful white flowers. My hibiscus starting to come up. And I think that's a pretty, like, maroon one. I um, even planted stuff up on the hill. I'm going to kind of walk back there so I can show you guys. It's a plant. Ugh, don't let me fall. Ooh, here you go, up here. This is some kind of something I planted last year. Interested to see what kind of flowers it's going to get. We shall see. It's another hibiscus that I transplanted. That one's a candy cane, and it gets like white and red stripes, like a candy cane. This flox. And here is my Ziffendal. This one's our hydrangea, and I put it in a cage to kind of like hold the blooms up because I know it's going to get huge. Um, hibiscus over there, and I'm definitely going to get that little plant that's coming up right here. That is like a horrible weed, chokes everything, so I'm gonna get rid of that quickly. Um, this, um, I'm all the way back on this hill now against the fence. There is some um, Black Eyed Susans. And let me just come on back around and down this hill. There's a little dendron. Not doing too good. I'm hoping that she'll be okay. Um, that's just some grass. I don't even think it's grass. Um, okay, I'm coming down this hill. Be careful. Alright, and right down the hill, there's an elephant ear and some impatience. This is my little plant area. See my little plant people? He got spider in his head. 
this is my little plant area. And some of you guys remember the um, night house I made out of plants. So I'm coming around there. Okay, have all the plants. And I just absolutely love, love, love that hydrangea. Not hydrangea, um, coldest. Okay, on the other side, by the fence. Just more day lilies, lots of day lilies. I actually put an iris back there. I'm hoping it comes up next year. Um, hydrangea, and then this is the area where we keep our trash cans. Okay, so coming around. Okay, let's go back some. This is another vermilion. My son blessed me with all these vermilion. They are beautiful. Elephant ear. And that's that same plant that I planted. Let's see what the name of it is. No idea. It reminds me of a rose of Sharon, but it looks like it's going to be like a whitest pink. It has beautiful buds on it. It is a French cabaret purple hibiscus. This is the hibiscus family. Okay. So, here's another uh, elephant ear. And my husband said this little area you can sit down in. Fire so pit that we need to work on. Need some help. So, um, more day lilies. There's a colgus that I put down. It's going pretty good. Something was trying to eat it. So I'm going to put some more Demetrius earth out here. Probably after the rain. It's been raining so, like all weekend. Another hibiscus down there. I think that's an no, a bloom struck. It's a bloom struck hydrangea. My um, knockout roses again. Five hours, guys. Another roses. And there's some irises there. They were beautiful pink. Pink. You can see they were white. Beautiful white roses that I had to dead here now. That rose bush. I think I got it like half price, so it was eight dollars. Um, down here, some pinstamone and some salvia. That's jade, jasmine. Going up around that trellis, that is jasmine. Here is a flower. I don't know the name of it, but I absolutely love it. I have it in the front of my door. Also, I'm gonna come right around. This is a, I think it's a pinky winky. No, it's not. It's a firelight. Firelight hydrangea. And um, my husband's going to repair this fire pit and pan it up, have it looking like new. It could be pretty. But it's a nice little area that we can sit in, surrounded by my flowers and the fire pit. However, something's going on here. Mama don't like this. What is this? on my hydrangea. That don't look good. Looks like it's trying to die. So we're going to inspect that after I finish this video. See what's going on here. Yes. Okay. Those are the purple flowers in here. See, I have so much to do in this garden. It's like always. These are some wild flowers. Those are the yellow flowers I showed you. And look at this dog on weed. The dog gonna read that just gotta go. Mama don't like that. Um, alrighty. So, that's a vine just trying to invade. Always something to do in the garden. Hibiscus, flies, holster. My little strawberries down there. They like run all through this garden down the bottom. So, those are sharing. There's a hibiscus. That gets beautiful white flowers with the red in the middle. More roses sharing. That's a peony. That was a pink one, I believe. And this kind of ends up this garden. And see, this damn rose of sharing, it will take over. So this is going to be my next project. Just clearing out this garden here against the pool fence. Okay, so coming around the side to the front of the pool. I have the vanda, the milly egg, the pot that I planted. It has asparagus, fern, geraniums, um, 
petunias, all kinds of stuff from Creeping Jenny. Here's another one, Dusty Miller, um, pansies, geraniums. Okay, Here's another bromeliad and a vanda. Um, I guess I'll come this way first. This is going towards my secret garden. There's my um, lamb's ears, which I just cut down. Hopefully they'll come up pretty. Another planter, as well as a sharing. And this is another one I have to tell. Those were those yellow flowers. So I'm gonna cut that back real nice. Um, the hibiscus coming up. And here is beautiful day lilies. These are like a golden, let me show you. Pretty gold color, isn't that pretty? Yes. So. Here's my hydrangeas. It's my little circle, which I planted. Um, got my little mushroom, my little fairy thing, my little castle. But I planted petunias all around it. And again, the reeds are trying to take over. So something that I have to clear out. Once again, always work to do in my garden. Always keeps me busy. So back here, for more day lilies than you are now. In my secret garden. <laughs> There's some um, black eyed Susan's there coming around the front part of it. It's a big azalea bush in front of the azalea bush. Let's do this right. It's a pea only. And then I planted some of that um, lamb's ear over here. Okay, um, coming around. I have. Um, some kind of petunias up to super petunias or something like that in that little planter and then these are ice flowers more ice flowers this is more um that's calico my son getting all those calico too they were yellow they were beautiful this is more day lilies the yellow one and this one's going to be maroon it's going to be pretty here's another Gray, big old, and I've had this um, hydrangea since I moved here. So it is huge. The same with these, uh, this, I think you call it a blue holster. Had that since I moved here too. The green and white one. Against the fence, I have um, a planner. It has Dusty Miller, um, Creepin' Jenny, and some other stuff in there. Okie dokie, but I've made that um holder, that plant holder, macrame. Let's come up plants. This has gets a beautiful white flower, bell flower rose on a stalk. Um, this is my popcorn roses, which I'm gonna give some more food. They didn't really do that well this year, but it's okay, it's not that. It's another little planter things. Okay, I'm gonna move back. This is a regalda bush. It gets beautiful white flowers coming down. It's another one of my planters, some calicoli that my son gave me. And in this planter, I have, um, what do I have? I think I threw some salvias and um, Dusty Miller, it looks like. That's not salvia. I can't remember the name of that plant. But this is something that's blooming nice. I don't know what that is. We'll see. I said I have so much stuff. That's more calicoli. And then leading from my secret garden is some more of that blue um, holster that I've had forever. And this is going into my serenity lane. I have a holster, mint, another pot. Those are blueberries, blueberries, blueberries. Okay, here's my variegated hydrangea, which is getting flowers this year. I'm so excited about. If you follow me, you know. Yes, yes, God. The little hydrangea, not good, a little azalea. <laughs> this is the peony bush, more wildflowers. Um, a day lily, which I transplanted maybe last year. I don't see any bud stuff. I'll do more fertilizer back here. Irises. 
this is morning glory set. I just painted that I want to go up this fence, this trellis, this lattice. Um, there's another plant. I forget the name of that. More blueberries. It's irises. There's some um, daylilies, but not really nice. That is more petunias. Um, Dusty Miller. Another hydrangea that I just put down. Uh, it's a rose bush. Nice pinkish, reddish roses. Here you go. Look. Here you go. The beautiful rose bush. Coming right on down. This is strawberries. Strawberry strawberries. That is some um, Black Eyed Susan. Another planet. More Black Eyed Susan. I'm going to treat this with Demetrius. Earth. I guess that's the way you say it. Any gardener know what I'm talking about. But here's another rose bush. This is one that I recently put down. Okay. Um, Y'all watch me get that. Um, was $5, I think, if it was that much. Uh, lots of mint. Strawberries. Lots of mint. Another planter. More strawberries. And coming out of my secret garden. And that is about it for today. Um, well, let me just finish showing you the rest of the backyard. Keeping this, I don't know why I'm saying showing you, because you guys are not going to see it. It's basically for me, this catalog. And that is um, a geranium. It grew nice. I'm so glad, I'm so happy. Nice flowers on it. And it's not the geranium, a gardenia. What's wrong with me? So go I do yes. Okay, this is big thing of roses shearing around the side to the front. Okay, yeah, this is days more. It's another both really add more knockout roses. And then this is my clothesline, guys. I decorated my clothesline. I know I'm crazy. Um, see my vandas? They look beautiful on it. I'm hoping that they'll bloom for me. Vandas are orchids. So we'll see what they're gonna do. The huge one back here. See, see her? She's gorgeous. So, okay, let me just walk back. It's my vandas, and then in the middle are some plants that I put down in containers. That's looking good. Some geraniums. These petunias, they in full sun, they just look horrible. So I think I'm just gonna come back. I haven't decided. Yeah, probably. Because they don't look good. Just a spider in there. And then it's on my patio. This is a cow and Cody from my son. Again, the blue really is this from my son. Um, it's a planner. Different things. Dusty Miller. The feathery plant. There's some going get down in there. And this is my little cactus plant. I'm coming over to the other side. More calicoe, vermilion, and some items that I planted. They get so much sun, it's like hard to keep up with them. And then here's a tomato that I planted that looks like it got broken. Oh my god, I hope it's not broken. Hopefully, it's just leaning. Yeah, I think it's just leaning. See if I can get something. Oh, I will be putting that back up today. Matter of fact, in a minute. Here is um, some wandering jewel that I have to take care of. One of my projects. Some bee bombs that I need to plant. Um, and that's about it for the backyard, I believe. These are just little plants that I put around under the wall, little things that I brought out for the season. Okay, that's it for me. Bye-bye. At least I know where everything is. I gotcha. Bye.